Hey Makeup Marketers, happy 2015. This is my first video of the new year and I have some really big plans to create a lot of training for my team, Team Momentum, and other Avon representatives out there this year. So, if you have not heard um, of Makeup Marketing Online yet, it is a website that I created uh, basically to provide a hub of information for prospective customers, team members, uh, other Avon reps, and um, just a, a place where I can share my knowledge and provide helpful information about Avon. So I have been selling since 2008. Today is actually my seven year anniversary with Avon. So I am a loyal Avon rep. I love everything about the business and I, I love how my marketing degree and online marketing skills are really paying off these days. In 2014, I ended the year with almost 48,000 in online sales and had over 180 online appointments in my first generation. So it really was an exciting year for me with my Avon business and uh, also a very difficult year personally. Uh, in July of uh, 2014, I had brain surgery and had a brain tumor removed. So um, all the more important and amazing it was to have already built up an online business because uh, as I was in the hospital and taking time to recover, I was still getting online sales and, and new team members even though I was not able to work. So it really shows you the power of the internet and in building up an online business as well as your traditional Avon business. So on this tips page here on Makeup Marketing Online, I have broken it down into three different sections and the first being my my tips and tools and tricks for selling online. So here are articles and videos that I've made and then some tools for you to incorporate in your business um, and some of the the corporate flyers that give instructions on on how to do things with your e-store. I've also listed the What's New brochures for 2015 all in one spot so that you can quickly glance at um, what's coming in the upcoming brochures as those become available online. That's taking a little while to load here, so we'll go back some of my quick tips and then we move into leadership. So. Um, my progress uh, at, in leadership for the year. Uh, last year I, I went from unit leader all the way to executive unit leader so that was very exciting for me and kind of um, what you can expect as you grow to the different titles. And the requirements for each level and then some average salaries that Avon has, has told us for each uh, earnings level. Here are my links for different posts and, and videos I've made regarding leadership. And then some tools to help you uh, build your own leadership business. We have some tear-off flyers and some Avon corporate pieces and then also uh, brochure labels so that you are always um, giving the opportunity to sign up as a rep as well as uh, the opportunity to buy from you when you're, you're handing out materials to to people that you talk to about Avon. So down at the bottom here we give uh, I give more information about each level uh, in the sales program and the commission chart and some more tools for you like the sales tax calculator and the Avon customer survey card. Uh, so really by building this page I was just hoping to um, have it be a source of information that you can come back to um, and refer back to when, when you want to find something quickly. Um, it's all there on the page and I plan on updating it regularly. So 
uh, here's some representative resources, some Facebook groups and leaders to follow, uh, people to follow on YouTube, and then just other books and authors that I enjoy. So today's topic is uh, putting Stat Counter on your website. So Stat Counter is a tool to help you track your website visitors. Um, and you can see there's that what's new page that finally pulled up. So why is it important to track your visitors? Because uh, when you're doing online marketing, it, it's really hard to track back to uh, the person that makes a purchase. How did they actually find you? Um, and and what's working in your online marketing and what isn't. So the only real way to do that is to track your progress. And I like to do that with a, a stat counter on my Avon website. I also have the Google Analytic uh, code on my website, but stat counter is kind of a nice way to, to get a real quick glance at how you're doing for the day or the week or the month. Um, I have the stat counter listed on the home page. I have it listed on the about page. See, it's all the way at the bottom there. And then I also have it posted in each blog post. So you do want to incorporate that stat counter image in every single page that you can customize so that it is not just counting your home page. So let's take a look at the back end of the stat counter website. And you can see that I have uh, three websites that I'm tracking on here. So it's kind of cool to be able to see it in all one place. Um, so yesterday I had 1,091 visitors uh, between my three among my three websites, and you can definitely tell that I spend the most time building up makeup marketing online. But it is always pointing to my Avon website. So what you want to do, if you haven't registered for StatCounter.com yet, you go to StatCounter.com slash Avon. It'll ask you to um, either log in or register. They do show instructions here, but this is the look of the old Avon website. So I want to show you how to do it on, on the current look of our website. So you go in here and you register, and then we want to install uh, the code. So once you give a name to your website, you can click on this little wrench here. And first, if you want to customize your counter, um, I use white text with a black background just to make it easy to read. Um, and then you can set the size of it and, and the minimum, minimum width. So um, apply changes. And then let's go into, uh, right here it should say, It'll probably say install code if you've never done it before. And you can click on that and then choose Avon. And here's the HTML that you want to copy when you put it into your Avon website. So I'm going to highlight this and right click and select copy. You can also use the shortcut of control and the C button to copy. Um, or you can use this little uh, link right here to copy it to your clipboard. So once we're in youravon.com, we want to go to the web office. Over to eStore and edit eStore. And then we want to click on this edit button on the home page. So in order to customize that screen, you want to make sure that you have selected the personal message widget down here at the bottom. Now I already have uh, kind of the look that I keep 
that I update every time a new campaign starts on my website. And you can also learn how to do that from Makeup Marketing Online. I have a post um, to show you how to upload the current catalog. So um, come over here and you can do a search in the box for uh, post Avon brochure and it'll pull up the blog posts about that. So in order to install that stat counter, we want to click on the source button here and go all the way down to the bottom here. If you have not customized that screen, um, this, this uh, space here will be empty. But um, obviously I have, so I'm going to right click and select paste. Um, you can also use control V as in Victor to use the shortcut to paste something. So click on save. And then you'll see I have a, a, the stat counter. This is actually my counter for Makeup Marketing Online. So that's why it shows a different number than, than what's up here. So now it's going to start tracking your website visitors for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that back out. Click Save. And now my website is back to how it was. Um, so one thing I just wanted to go over with stats is that it's important to look at unique visits. You don't necessarily want to look at um, page views because if one person visits 30 different pages on your website, that's going to count as 30. Um, I'm really interested in how many people are actually visiting. So you can look at a daily basis, you can look at a weekly basis, and you can also look uh, quarterly and yearly. So um, I'm going to take a look at monthly and check out the last 12 months. Um, and what I would do to kind of determine where I want to spend my time in 2015 is look at those popular months and figure out what I was doing those months, um, how many blog posts I was posting, what I was doing on social media. That's going to give me a guide um, to determine where I want to spend my time in 2015. So I hope you found this helpful. And be sure to uh, look me up, Emily Segrin, and follow Makeup Marketing Online on Facebook. We have a group. Um, I have a page. And then I also have a YouTube channel. So um, I'm happy to connect with other Avon representatives. And I hope you all have uh, much success in 2015. Have a great day.